So we have another question about a sequence here, and they tell us that each term is equal to n, meaning the position of that term in the sequence, plus 2 to the power of n minus 1. So just as an example, if we're talking about the 11th term, that would be equal to 11 plus 2 to the power of 10. So it's always 2 to the power of 1 below the position of that term in the sequence. Now they want to know the difference between the fifth term and the sixth term. So the long way to solve that would be to uh, figure out that the fifth term is 5 plus 2 to the power of 4. So that's uh, 5 plus 16 is 21. And the sixth term is 6 plus 2 to the power of 5. So that's 6 plus 32 is 38. So now I know it's uh, the 21 and 38, and the difference would be 17. The quicker way to solve this is to say the fifth term will be 5 plus 2 to the 4. The sixth term is 6 plus 2 to the 5. So comparing the first parts, the 5 and the 6, the sixth term is one more. And then comparing the 2 to the 4 and the 2 to the 5, well, that's 16 and 32. The difference there is 16. So the sixth term is bigger by 1 for the first reason and bigger by 16 for the second reason. So in total, it's uh, 17 greater than the preceding term. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.